Right, one broken casting. Somebody has oversteered this and broken off this piece. We're going to just have a little go at repairing it without getting the whole thing too hot. It's not going to be guaranteed, but it's going to save a lot of money because this is a nose leg. It's quite an expensive thing. So I've started and it's welding clean for cast. So it's obviously a reasonable quality casting. We'll just see how it goes. Okay, sorry about the arc shots. We just grabbed a camera quickly here because we thought this was going to be interesting. Um, I'm just lighting up and you can't see terribly well, but welding on cast aluminium with an old transformer machine. I'm using a lot of cleaning action. Um, it's going to make my electrode round off a bit. So I need to keep a tight arc to avoid it wandering. And just lift the torch a little bit to allow the puddle to grow when I dab. I'm about to stub the electrode. But I only just barely touched and got away with it. And uh, as I come up to the end there, I'm just going to have to stab metal in like crazy and back off the heat to try and keep the puddle cool and try and build up a bit on the end. Strange stuff, cast aluminium. You have to just take your time, let the cleaning action do its thing, and well, sort of works. Right, just putting a final bit on the top here. It's uh, been going quite well, and I'm not. Uh, getting too much porosity now because I've already got weld down over the original casting I'm welding onto clean weld just building up a little bit of extra my cameraman's getting shaky and just backing up to the beginning there and as it all starts to get hot backing off the heat and really jabbing lots of rod in there at the end That's my rods coming out of the gas not very good practice but you get away with it a little on aluminium if you're careful all right, every so often you need a bit of luck and a fair wind and this casting was clean and it's you can see it's been welding really nicely really easy i've just dressed the end a bit there to make sure it's not porous and it isn't so we'll do a bit of filing grinding fettling machining see how it comes out all right it's not too bad i've used some files some burrs and some paper and some flat wheels we managed to get there we haven't overheated it um, we haven't burnt the paint too much. I did preheat it lightly. It's looking good though. Okay, that's the finished article after a little bead blasting. It's not looking too bad. There's a tiny bit of porosity in there. You get it on cast sometimes. Um, I didn't want to spend too long hanging around on this thing, get it too hot. Did use a light preheat. Uh, it went okay now thing is this is just a corner and the inner leg rotates inside that and that forms a stop for to prevent excessive nose wheel steering when you're using the tow bar to steer the airplane um, only somebody used a very manly tow bar and a tug and exceeded the stop and cracked that corner off if it was a structural part we wouldn't do this you know there'd be no question change the part um, We've been careful not to get the whole thing too hot, and you can see even the paint hasn't burned there. It, it, it's going to be okay. The worst thing that can happen is if they force it or snap it again, you know, then they'll know they've done some damage at least. So uh, it saved a lot of money. This part is over two thousand pounds to us. So and sometimes, you know, you can get away with a nice little repair like that.